Pittsburgh Penguins are proud to select Owen Pickering. Every single year, 224 hockey players get drafted into the NHL. And whether you're first overall or 224th, everyone are elite level athletes. And you know, I always wondered as a kid growing up, how good are they really? Like they don't look all that special. Well, the truth is maybe I just never had the right perspective to begin with. This is Owen Pickering. He's a 2004 born six foot six defenseman from just outside of my hometown, Winnipeg, Manitoba. And he just went 21st overall to the Pittsburgh Penguins in the 2022 NHL draft. Today he's doing a one-on-one -on -one private skating session with Evolution Hockey in Winnipeg ran by Riley Dudar. Now, I've skated with lots of elite level players in my time, from Nolan Patrick two weeks before I got drafted to second overall to the Flyers in 2017, with the countless Swedish studs that I compete against every day when I play in Europe during the season. However, today I'm basically a shooting target for the players for today's skate, but I wanna break down for you in my eyes what makes Owen so good, what he's doing, and more importantly, provide some perspective to you for how good a first round draft pick truly is. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Let's begin. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Today's gonna to be a two-on-one private session. We have Owen Pickering in the white right here, and then another Owen, Owen Murray, who plays for the Green Bay Gamblers in the USHL in black, and he's also committed to play for UMass Amherst NCAA D1 next year, same school that Kalen Carr went. But today's focus is on this guy right here, Owen Pickering. Now the first 10 to 15 minutes are just by myself to work at some skating, get myself warmed up because the guys are getting warmed up at the other end, working on their skating and their shooting a little bit. More importantly, to get myself in the right headspace to stay focused for the next hour for what Picks is about to do to me. And he may be a defenseman, but goddamn, he moves and he shoots the puck like a forward. Maybe I'm just a dinosaur and I'm getting old, but anyway. We start things off with some more up shots. Walking around the circle, taking a quick shot. On this play right here, you see that Owen takes the pass in stride. Now my weight is drifting forward a little bit and he opens up the skate, tries to shovel a blocker side high. Luckily he hits the post, but really, really, really smart read. Big goaltender coming out at you off the post, a not so great angle and he makes the best of what he has to work with and almost buries. Here he receives the puck, pulls the puck, changes the angle. The Austin Matthews trademark tries to go upstairs. He hits me in the collarbone shoulder area, but a great shot that if I'm being honest, I think I just got hit with. Watch this here. Owen takes the puck below the goal line, centers to Muzz for the one-timer across crease. A difficult, actually a very difficult pass to make in a real game situation, but as a goaltender, this is a very tough save to make going so east to west, so much changes here. And shout out to Muzz, he goes far pad for the rebound, shooting for that rebound. Owen's the right place, right time, elevates it above the pad. Granted, I almost got it, but a couple of really intelligent plays by a couple of really intelligent players and absolute berries. Right here, the guys put the puck in a little bit too far. I stop and I set it up for Owen. This is where the details matter. I am in what I would call the transition zone, where I would transition from my feet to my knees. Owen gives me the pitch here, like he's gonna go around the net and then I have a little bit of time. But as I transition, he kind of jackknifes his skates and his hips open to open up for that immediate pass once he passes that threshold behind the net. And when he makes that pass, I'm rushed. My weight and my positioning aren't where I want them to be because I'm kind of being caught by surprise. And to be honest, I'm very exposed right now. Obviously, you see the pocket buried. Muzz, great shot on that one. But it's these little details that when the game happens so fast, like this is why the guy's going 21st overall. Like on this play right here, the fellows are making a high to low pass. Owen steps into last rep. This one he holds and he tries to go between his legs. He's trying to make me look bad, but I made the save, so it's all good. Just watch the replay on this for a second. No look, backhand chiseler on the tape, barring it. I, I just wanna say that right here from a goaltender's point of view, Owen is doing a lot of things right in my eyes because he's not giving me any cues as to what he's doing. He's not allowing me to set up with my weight, my positioning, my hands the way that I want to. And he's being very deceptive. And in today's game, that is literally the secret sauce. And on that last play specifically, he's doing it right in the transition zone as my weight is changing. And granted, it only buys him maybe a split second of time, but in today's game, that's all you need to bury in the back of the net. This one, Owen pulls the puck. Now I have a little bit of what we call pre-shot movement with my hands. Get a little bit antsy on the puck. I kind of open up my hands before he shoots. So instead of making a very simple blocker save, except in the puck, it ends up right in front of the body because it hits me on the side of the blocker. After that, he picks up the puck and he just absolutely buries it in the back of the net by the blocker side. Again, my hands tense up, then they move out. Kind of pre-shot movement, unnecessary. That's a different video for a different day. But I believe he picks up on that read. He buries it. Great goal. Now we move on to a little bit more of what I would describe as defenseman based drills. D man takes the pass, walks in for a shot on, I guess, kind of a sharp angle, but not really a sharp angle. It may not really seem that impressive, but I believe that Owen is shooting right as I hit the transition zone. And again, this is an area where I would probably transition from my feet and being square to maybe an overlap into the post or a VH play. And when the shooter is at this point, it makes me very vulnerable and exposed for a potential squeaker goal because at least I feel my weight has to transition here. And 
Granted, I made most of the saves in this drill, but right here, Owen catches me stuck on my feet. My feet are set. I can't really move and I'm stuck. I'm planted almost like concrete in the ice. He buries. Ice burner off the stick. You gotta make that save. You gotta go 100% on that one. No, this play wasn't Owen, but Muzz, I apologize for putting this play in the video. D-Man walks in, fakes me out, but I mix in the Roberto along with the Bobby Lou special. You get flat, extend the arm, Jesus take the wheel. Nice little glove save. I had to put that one in. Try to pump myself up for the amount of goals I gave up today. Now, final drill of the day, pass below the goal line for a one-timer up front. I think that it's very safe to say that you've seen a very, very small sample, and you get an idea of how talented Owen really is. Like, you don't put up numbers the way that he did, get drafted 21st overall, because you suck, or even because you're just okay. It's because we're talking about a top 21 talent on the planet for the 2004 birth year. All players at this level are elite and have something that they do very, very, very well, if not many things they do very well for a reason. And not just Owen, but players across the board at this level, you got my respect. If you want to watch Owen play this season with the Swift Current Broncos in the future with the Pittsburgh Penguins, or watch any hockey on planet Earth at home on your TV for free, you gotta get NordVPN. You pick whatever free streaming service you like, you watch WHL, NCAA, or NHL hockey, then you turn on NordVPN. Reason being is that these streaming services, they track your IP address, they track you, and in some cases, they try to attack you with cyber threats. You simply pick up a NordVPN subscription, they hide your IP address and all your confidential information, you stream all games securely, and you turn on that brand new threat protection feature that they have, and you're in business. But you gotta go to the first link in the video description and use nordvpn.com slash trapwoilers, or use the promo code trapwoilers, and that's gonna get you the cheapest, most up-to-date Day deal that NordVPN has to offer. I promise you, you won't regret it. And that's why NordVPN is my first round pick for cyber threat protection and streaming all hockey all season long. That's what it was like taking shots on the first round pick. Speaking of, here's the man himself, Owen Pickering. Introduce yourself to the program. I'm Owen Pickering. I uh, play for the Swift Current Broncos in the WHL and uh, get, ready for the, uh, get ready for the draft on July 7th and 8th coming up. And uh, just getting ready by pumping a few past drafts today. Had a blast out there, and uh, it was nice. And didn't know what to expect from him, but uh, went out there and put a few passes, and it was fun. So uh, follow me on Instagram, Owen Pickering 27. And if there's one takeaway from this video, it's that the best in the world are the best in the world for a reason. And although you may hear the average hockey fan say quite a bit, well, they're only drafted. Yes, that is true. But the guy who just got drafted is a hell of a hockey player. And I think this video shows you how good a first round pick is. And for me personally, how good first round picks have become. Keep in mind, I'm 26 and I'm getting old. If you ever need anything, you can always hit me up on Instagram or TikTok, as you see on the screen here at Trav Waters. And if you enjoyed this video, Hit the subscribe button. I got more videos similar to this coming up soon. Or maybe you want to see some of my pro hockey endeavors in Europe. Thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and making it possible. And as always, I will see you in the next video.